up. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> So Bridgie and I are hanging out together and we are all eagerly awaiting lovely Bridget's baby. So I know that uh, everyone here is on the journey with us. So that sunlight's a bit annoying, isn't it? I'll try and move. Um, but we were just talking and I said to Bridget, you know, there's so much in the journey that you're in right now, which is so like, how do you do it when you're 40 plus weeks with this enormous heavy baby and your body doesn't want to do it and parts of you don't want to do it? But you've still got to show up and parent and show up for the beliefs and values that you have. And you can sometimes become your own cage if you're not conscious of, of where they're at and where you're at, I think. Totally. So I was just saying to Bridget, maybe there's a way to just throw some help out there to the mama who's exactly like you right now, because often we take for granted the kind of flow of our day and that there's something yeah. in that for you. So this is for you if you want to know how to bring the consciousness, but you also just can't be bothered right now. Yeah, yeah. So Bridgie. And you don't have to be pregnant either. I think it's we find ourselves in these patterns where we just don't have energy. We don't have much more to give than to give to ourselves. And so how does it look like when you're being asked to give to someone else with really high needs? And, you know, Julie came around to my house this morning and said, oh my God, you look so awake and like, you look amazing. And I'm like, yeah, I feel really good. And like, I was like that all morning until I hit a complete wall. And when you hit that wall, I think, you know, you get feedback, you're more irritated, you have less spaciousness to listen, your, you know, toddler or your child's realistic needs and requirements feel too much for you. And that's all feedback for you to go inward and ask what you need to be able to show up for yourself so that you can show up for your child. And sometimes that means taking 10 minutes to lie on the couch or lie in the sun like I just did. It's putting on the TV and, feel, and doing that completely guilt-free knowing that it's giving you an opportunity to connect in with yourself and nourish yourself in a way that you need. And that your child actually gets a value met from that, even if it does jar with some of your own ideals. Mm. Because we can feel like we can fall off a wagon, can't we? That yeah. we've built, sorry, I'll move. That we've built this pedestal of what parenting should look like mm. and how we should show up. And when we fall short of that, all the shooting that we're doing to ourselves, all of the constructed ideals we and idealisms and parenting gurus that we have in our head and we think man we are just hurting our child right now yeah we get stuck in our own shame spiral yeah bit. and we want so desperately to be more self-compassionate and bring more love and are oh, you want to hold it are you yeah. sure yeah and bring more love to ourselves so that we can show up in the way that we want to but that can feel like it's not even a possibility, let alone a permission. So we just thought maybe there's something in here. If you're sitting that you've been feeling really good and then all of a sudden you feel really bad and that energy is kind of waving, which we're designed to be cyclical beings that move in and out of seasons and phases. That's the feminine in motion. And we often think that the masculine is the static, right? It starts here, it finishes there, and that's, that's the linear. Yeah. Let's get back to that kind of life. Whereas the feminine's always doing this kind of curvy in and out, roundabout. And to be able to give ourselves permission to move in with those cycles, to know that when we move and really allow ourselves to embellish and feel into exactly as we are right now, that that actually, the permission to do that mm. feeds and spills over and bleeds out into all these other areas of our life that then start to feel all more lush. And we're able to expand more, I think, of our, our tolerance for our own needs and feelings and therefore doing the same for our children when we can bring that softness to those moments when we are bringing less than we would like, and then we can also do that for our kids rather than getting stuck on some linear um, set of values or ideals of this is how we are in our family or this is how I show up and it's rigid and it's fixed and if I don't measure up then I'm not good enough or you know, whatever that story is that we tell ourselves, whatever that cage is that we've created that actually we need to let ourselves out of. You know, we need to look consciously about why we're telling ourselves it has to be this way or um, this is how I mother all of the time and if I don't measure that, measure up to that, then I'm not, I'm less than or I can't do this or... So this is when we really want to say expectations are the root of all suffering. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because if there was no wagon, which is just the expectation, there would be nothing to fall off yeah. of, right? And often we have this constructed, it's like the perfect mother or the perfect woman. It's mm. the perfect expectation for our toddler, for ourselves, for our day, for our productivity in inverted commas. Yeah. 
and we fall short of that wagon that's just a total figment construction that we've done based on all of the beliefs that we're kind of holding at that point in time and then we feel hideous when we fall off of that. So how do we start to let go of expectations, Bridge? What's your tip for that? My tip for that is to check in with where those expectations have come from. So why are you expecting that of yourself? Who's the voice in your head that that comes from? You know, is it really you or is it some idealism that you've... Um, signed up to that maybe doesn't feel good right now and then what's the one thing that you could do that would feel really good to give yourself a little bit of space a little bit of reprieve a little bit of you back so that you can bring more to what your child needs because if we don't create space for what we need in, in a moment then we build resentment we build frustration it all feels too hard we need the problem our child when really often it's about us losing touch with what we're needing in a moment or in a day and so it's the check-in it's that self check-in what do i need right now and it might be rest on the couch it might be a cup of tea it might be a call with a friend it might be you know just some time out to not have to talk to anybody for, for 10 minutes you know or leaning into what your willingness is for any given moment because mm. that's congruence and that's authenticity yeah and that's what our children's nervous systems plug into yeah and i think sometimes if we're not willing to give ourselves the space they will take us to the edge so that we set the boundaries we need because they're feeling our nervous system they're feeling everything that's going on for us even if we're not saying it mm. and they want us to be the most authentic version of ourselves so that they have that blueprint for themselves to know what it looks like to really be grounded and anchored in who you are because mm. sometimes grounded and anchored in who you are is, is not all of the ideals that you've sold yourself for the right way to be as a mother. But that's the light and the dark of being human and our children need that too. They need to see all of it. They need to see all of us. Mm -hmm. So... Those are, those are kind of our tips. Yeah, we hope that there's something in there for you. And if you do want to learn more and delve in more, then we would really invite you to check out Align Parenting on our website. It's all a downloadable program. And we'll work, work, walk you through the process yeah. of loving your child's heart and soul and their authenticness your authenticity and the the soul driven process of what we believe conscious parenting is but allowing yourself to find and set boundaries that also feel just as congruent and soul aligned yeah. as the ideals that you also have so aligned parenting you can find out more on nourishingthemother.com.au see ya